In today's video, we are going to be decorating my new coffee bar. Um, we bought these two mini fridges a couple years ago in hopes that we would build our own custom coffee bar, but life happened and more kids happened and um, we were actually at Ikea a couple weeks ago and found this and I fell in love with it. I love the color blue. It kind of matches our wall that we painted a couple months ago. Um, Riley made me a coffee sign. Um, but we are going to decorate this coffee bar, move everything from my countertop over to here. This is my current coffee bar situation. It's just on a counter in my kitchen and it was good for a while but it's taking up so much of my counter space that I just need to get it off of here. So I'm excited to move it to the new coffee bar. But we have a coffee, like pot combo thing. And then I have an espresso machine and then like all the syrups. And then this is hot chocolate, like a hot cocoa bar um, stuff for my daughter that we did. I'll link the video where we actually set this one up in the description box below. I do have this like spice rack that I had in my cupboard for like the spices and I might put these bottled um, syrup mixes on it instead of the turntable and then I'll put the turntable where the spice rack was so the spices are a little bit more organized but I'm gonna try it and see if I like that better. Get the Okay, I do like the way that this one looks with the levels. It feels a little more like a normal coffee shop, I guess you could say. Um, this, like the vanilla bean one was a glass bottle um, and that one was too big to fit on the shelf. So I'll probably grab another flavored coffee syrup out of the pantry and put it on there um, to kind of fill it out. I do it. I do it. Ain't 
I'ma make it out. Smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Go. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down in life, you know. Breathing out air for a minute. Yeah. Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Lay low in the picture, sun Put your rose colored glasses on Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down and down. Okay, it's been about six months since I started this video. Um, life has just happened to us. We started homeschooling again, then we had our third baby, and now it's almost Christmas time. So I figured I wanna get this video done, finish it up. Um, I bought some more stuff since we started this video. So I got like, right here, there's some containers um, on that side and then on the other side. And so the ones on this side over here, we do like breakfast stuff, like easy grab and go breakfast stuff. Um, right now there is extra stuff in there to turn this into like a hot cocoa bar. Um, so I just stuck it in there so it's all in the right place. Um, I got some new like cold brew coffee stuff to try so I wanna get that put away. Um, on this side we do stuff for my husband for work so easy grab and, grow, easy grab and go stuff that he can take in the morning. Um, yeah, so I wanna kind of redo the coffee bar, kind of make it into a hot cocoa bar. We also got our um, chalkboard moved up and then we hung this um, coffee bar sign. I got that on Amazon, I'll link it below. And then these are just like hook and whatever, like a, um, I don't even know. But it's from Ikea. Um, and we bought those because we're like, oh, those will be perfect for hanging like coffee mugs on. So I haven't hung those up yet. So we're gonna get those hung up in this video as well. Um, I have two different runners over here that are Christmas ones. I wanna lay those across the, um, top of the coffee bar and then I have espresso pods that need to be put away um, We have a ninja Coffee bar system right there. I make coffee in it one day and I don't know if it works right so I may just take that off of here I like the way it looks but if it doesn't work I may put like the hot cocoa fixings and like toppings over there. So we'll see um, I did order new chalk markers so Briley can decorate us like a Christmas theme sign. I think she's gonna do like the Grinch or maybe a hot cocoa bar, I'm not sure. But she's gonna decorate that later today. Um, yeah, so I might kind of rearrange some of the stuff, 
And then, so like this fridge on this side, I don't know if I mentioned it, this is where we keep drinks for the kids. And then we have like pop and stuff on that side for my husband for work. Um, I don't keep coffee cream or anything in there, anything that has to stay cold because our two year old will sometimes come over and help us stock the fridge or she'll just open them randomly. And they don't automatically close these doors or have like a beeper on them to let you know that the door is open. So I just don't trust that it might not go bad before we realize it and then maybe it closes and then yeah, we don't want anybody to get sick. So that stuff just stays in the main fridge. But let's get started kind of wiping everything down again. Our house gets super dusty. Kind of going through what we have for the hot cocoa bar and then decorating. Okay, here is what I have for our hot cocoa bar like fixings, I guess. So I have two different runners. This one um, I got last year to put on our table for like when we did our Grinch tablescape. I might use this one just because the colors match the colors that we have decorated for Christmas. Although I do like the black and red, it's a gingham. Um, but so I don't know, I'm gonna play around with it, see which one I like better to put across the top of the coffee bar. And then we have Andy's cream de mint. These are my favorite. Some stars and trees, marshmallows. These are from Target. Um, I believe these are from Walmart. They're just fun little cupcake marshmallows. Um, caramel bits, mint Oreos. I got mini Christmas M&Ms. Um, these Jet Puff marshmallows are the best. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I also found them on Target.com for cheaper. Um, and then you can just get them shipped to your house. So I ended up getting two of these because we really like these marshmallows on our hot cocoa or on our coffee. And then I got this little pack of like Santa chocolate meltaways. This was from Walmart. Um, and then I'll probably put them in a little container from the top of the hot cocoa. So I ended up buying these um, Chamberlain, Cham Chamberlain, I'm guessing is how you say it. Um, it's like little cold brew packets. So this one is fluffy lamb vanilla blend. This one is social dog blend. I don't know if it'll focus here. There it goes. Um, and then this one is the original family blend. So I believe that you can make these either um, hot or cold. So right here, um, you can sit one single serve cup in a bag and add eight ounces of hot water. Brew for five minutes, drink and enjoy it. Or for the cold brew, um, Place a single serve bag in eight ounces of water refrigerate for 12 to 24 hours. Enjoy over ice. Um, so I got it for that, but it's kind of nice that you can actually do it either way. And then I also got these milk chocolate covered coffee beans. Sometimes when I get a hot coffee around here, like the coffee shop that we go to puts like one on top of the cup. So I got those because they're actually really good. Okay, so I'm gonna start by clearing off the top of the coffee bar as best as I can. I'll probably leave the Nespresso machine here and just wipe around it. And then I'm going to wipe down the whole top and then I'm gonna figure out if I wanna put the Nespresso pods in this white container because that's what I have like our, here I'll show you. It just has our to-go cups in there that I got off of Amazon. So I might rearrange it a little bit. Um, and then we will go from there. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind. Okay, so here is what the different runners look like. So there is that one. And then here is this one. I don't know, I kind of like them both, but I'm gonna actually step away from the camera and decide which one I like better from a distance. So I decided to go with um, the black and red one. I just like the way that it looked better from a distance um, and it's a little bit flatter too. So hopefully everything sits on it better. Um, 
Who knows, maybe I'll change my mind halfway through and then we'll change it out again. But as of now, we're gonna go with this red and black one. Okay, so this is what that one looks like from distance. I actually really like the way that it looks. It looks Christmassy, but um, we can actually use it past Christmas because it doesn't have like the reds and the greens in it. So we could actually probably leave it up maybe even till Valentine's Day. So um, I will finish decorating it now. containers that I have. I actually got these from Marshalls last year. Um, this one says trail mix, but I actually just use like the back side of it and leave it out. Um, I got these last year for a hot cocoa bar. I can link that video below if you're interested. Um, so a couple of these trail mix ones, I use these for the hot cocoa and the marshmallows. And then This is the one that I put the cookies in because it says cookies. And I believe there's one more now. Okay, so I'm going to be getting these filled up and set up on the um, coffee bar. Thinking about the way that you know me. No one ever cared like you care for me. You're such a bright star. these last year as well um so this one is like a radon it says be merry and then this one says ho 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 so we use these for our, or our like christmas time sand, um coffee bar hot cocoa bar and then after christmas is over we can just turn them around and then use the side so we can leave it out longer so i'm going to add the mini m ms to one let's see we'll do those in the be merry. And then it has a little spoon. And then I'll put the caramels on the other one. That one looks like. And then I'm going to fill up this last little canister with um, some hot cocoa mix. We've never tried this one before. Um, it's actually kind of made locally to us. It's made in Duluth, Minnesota. Um, so I heard have heard good things, but we've never tried it, but hopefully it's good um, and we'll see. Um, I should add, I found this at Costco. I have this little scoop that I'm gonna use and then actually leave for the hot cocoa. Um, I got a like, two pack, I believe, from Hobby Lobby. with 
Do you set up a hot cocoa bar at your house? Um, last year was the first year we actually have ever set one up. Um, my daughter really enjoyed making hot cocoa with it. This year, we haven't really had the ambition to do it yet, I guess you could say, because it hasn't snowed where we lived. And normally, we have a lot of snow, and we might not have a very white Christmas this year, which is kind of disappointing, but I guess we'll see. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave that scoop in there. And then we'll put, um, this scoop across the top to make it a little more fun. And then I wanted to share too that I found these at Ross the other day. We just got a new Ross built in our town um, a few months ago. And I found these there and they're for hot beverages. So I thought, thought these would be fun to set out for the hot cocoa bar as well. I'm going to try to get everything set up and organized on the coffee bar now. Then I'm gonna hang up the mugs and then I'm also going to like refill our like containers for snacks for the day. It's all different, you got every little string on me. The way you make me I'm gonna leave this one out with cookies facing outward because that's what's in there. Um, the other ones I'm gonna turn backwards. Feel this crazy. How did you get so fly? You got me like my my my. You got me like my my my. You got me like there's no other than you now, babe. Na na na, cause you got me. Okay, I have these clear canisters that were in my pantry that have been sitting empty for a while. Um, so I'm actually going to fill the Keurig, or not the Keurig, the Nespresso pods in there. And then this one has like slots like that. I don't know if you can see. Um, and I'm going to put like the cold brew packets in here. Uh, I gotta find a spot for these and then for those as well. But I'm going to get these filled. And then I also keep in these ones this is where it's empty now but um this one has a little bit in there this is where i've been keeping my nespresso pods so i think i'm going to refill these fill these clear bins and then um stock this okay it's kind of a messy area right here but it is what it is um so If you have an espresso machine, do you have a favorite pod? I don't really, um, I just get whatever, but sometimes I switch between like that coffee size ones and then the espresso ones, um, depending on my mood. Cause sometimes I like espresso shots or I'm like, oh, I want a bigger cup of coffee. So I feel like every order, it's either a lot of espresso or the next, next one, it's a lot of like the actual like coffee pods. Okay, I'm gonna put the regular coffee ones together and then um, the espresso pods. Um, they actually have like a cold brew version as well. Um, I really like those ones actually. They brew like a bigger cup or bigger cup of coffee and it's perfect for ice, it doesn't melt it. Let me know if you've ever tried this before. Um, I had a um, credit on the shop app. So I've been using that a lot more lately when we've been doing our Christmas shopping. And every once in a while they'll give you like a promo. Well, they did during like Black Friday and like Cyber Week. Um, like, so they gave me like a $5 shop credit. And then with that, they had certain stores 
where you could like multiply that amount and then you can take it off of your purchase price. And that's what I did to score kind of a good deal on this coffee to try. Um, I haven't tried it, hopefully it's good. I'll let you know though. So they come in like little single serve packets, so that's kind of nice. You could even take it on the go. So here's this one. I'm going to try to find a spot on top of the coffee bar to set these. I don't know if I have a container to put them in. Um, Actually, I could do this. Take these out of here. We'll stack that. Put those there. And I'm actually going to top this off with the rest of the cups that I have. But here, we'll put these in here. There, that works out perfect. There, I put those in this little container that I had. I actually got this from um, Magnolia um, like five years ago. I got it when they kind of first started their like online store. Really like it's rustic, but really cool. I'm gonna retop this off. And then I did order these cups and lids from um, Amazon. And they're like the strawless lid. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't really like these because the lip is too big. So I wouldn't recommend this version. Um, I'd probably just, if I ordered again, just get the ones with the straw. Um, but yeah, so we'll put that back. Actually, I'm going to wipe that out. You make me feel this crazy. How did you get so fly? You got me like, my, my, my. I have this cute little like um, half open bowl thing. It opens right here. Um, I got this from Crate and Barrel or Pottery Barn like many, many years ago. Um, but it's like the perfect Christmas bowl. So I'm going to put these in there. So that's what those look like. We'll probably set those here. And then these, I'm just gonna probably leave in the original containers. Um, I don't have a small container to put them in and I'm afraid that they might get like stale if I put them into something else. Um, these will probably get used up the first time my daughter uses them, these little chocolate melt away Santas. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, so I'm just gonna put one of these out probably here. And then the other one I'm just gonna put down below for like the extra stock and then let's see here maybe we'll put this here back here and then this one i'm gonna put like here maybe i'm not too worried about how it looks um but i'm going to restock or not restock but actually put up our coffee mugs oh you can't see lift you up a little bit here I'm gonna hang our coffee mugs on these shelves right here um I have fiesta like we've had a bunch of fiesta wear I don't know is it fiesta fiesta wear like the colorful plates and mugs um a couple years ago and it like it was like a plate set that came with a mug so we have a bunch of different ones so I'm gonna kind of put them as a rainbow on there and then whatever spots are extra I'm going to put like our holiday mugs and hang them up there um so let's start on this side. Okay, 
so I really like the way that that turned out as like the rainbow colors um, we have actually seven or no eight sets so we had eight rainbow cups um, not quite a huge variety but I like the way it looks and then now we are going to put our holiday ones on this one I actually keep the holiday ones in the drawer down here So I'm going to take all of like the Christmas ones and then hang them up on the shelf. Um, this one is one I got from Crate and Barrel. This one is a Grinch one. I believe we got that at Hobby Lobby. This one is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. This one, um, it's an Elf on the Shelf one, but I got it from her Elf last year. These two I got off of Amazon last year. I can try to link them below. But this one's like all the Christmas movie as friends. It's like the care, like, I don't know, cartoon characters. And then this one as well. This one's like the real characters from the movies. Is it focusing? The baby just woke up so I'm gonna have to go get him. Oh, I'm wrong way. There we go. So cute. Okay, let's see. And then I'll do this one. This is the last one that I have. It says naughty and nice. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the baby, but I do like the way that this turned out. Here's kind of like an overview of the way that the mugs turned out. Um, I'm gonna grab the baby and then I'm going to actually restock these Two containers and then I'll give you kind of like a full over tour. Why you wanna let me go na na now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know na na now. Cause you love me, me, baby, go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack Someone help me catch my breath again How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Okay, here is an overview of the finished coffee bar. So we hung up our like colorful Fiesta mugs here and then I did like the holiday mugs over there. Um, this bin is like breakfast stuff and then like the cookies for the girls. This fridge has juice for the girls. We have our Nespresso machine, um, like the frothers and some cups. Um, these are like the travel mugs that I got. Um, the frother, the marshmallow bits. These have the Nespresso pods, all of the syrups, and then the chocolate. I like the Tarani chocolate because it's actually um, like shelf stable, so it doesn't need to be refrigerated. These are the little cups with the um, hot cocoa toppings, and then marshmallows, marshmallows. The hot cocoa and then these are the cookies and then the mint chocolates um, I was able to leave the ninja coffee bar system on here um, I'm still deciding if I'm gonna keep it or not 
we'll see and then I have like my husband's like or I guess the chips and then like the peanuts and stuff for work um this one has just soda in it and then down here in this store this is where I keep the bins when they're not in use or the canisters and then I have my cold brew um, containers and then we have our um, blender down below we have our um, travel cups um, and then the cold brew coffee turn that around so we can see it and then all of our Yeti mugs and then in this drawer this is just the leftover mugs and then on this side this is kind of just like the overstock hot cocoa, the rest of the cold brew, and then the rest of the Nespresso pod. And then like my coffee down below. I hope you enjoyed our coffee bar and hot cocoa bar video. Um, I will try to link as many things down below as I can. And I'm going to add a little clip at the end of what our finished um, hot cocoa bar or Grinch or whatever Bradley decides to come up with, um, our chalkboard. These are the new chalkboard markers that I ordered off of Amazon. Um, our other ones weren't working quite right. So I ordered these, I got them on sale. I can link them down below, but they have like the perfect um, Christmas colors, I think, or like at least for the Grinch, like that's the perfect shade of the Grinch right there. And then that's a good Christmas green. And then some like pastel kind of shades. So Briley's gonna color our chalkboard and I will reveal what it looks like when she's done.